can record this just in case. It will be helpful for others. And then I can go to the course page. Oh, I found the logo course. You found, okay, the video. But if you like to show it, that'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, so in case anyone else goes back and watches this, you go to the new videos under announcements, and there's the animated GIF and then the logos. I'm trying to make my videos a lot shorter now, so I don't, yeah. I don't ramble on too much. Uh, but uh, this, like, this one is how long is that one? Six minutes long. Okay. So and then it goes to the end. I go through like how you could uh, set up a, a logo in Illustrator and then how you would save it. So you can't save and upload formats like PDF or Illustrator files for web. They're not web friendly. So you have to save it in one of those formats that we learned earlier. Or you can't, we didn't learn about the scalable vector graphics, but you can also save it as an SVG. And you mm -hmm. can do that directly through Illustrator. So make sure that you save it as an SVG file if you want it to, to retain it as a vector graphic. Mm -hmm because you won't be able to upload an Illustrator file directly in, to your website. All right. Yeah, so you can go back and just re-save that. If you know that you want to scale it as a vector graphic, then I would save it as an SVG. If not, you can save that original Illustrator file so that you can always go back to it and, make, and enlarge it if you need to. And then just, if you have an idea of how large you want to use it on your website, you can go ahead and, and save it as a raster image and just save it as a PNG or a JPEG. And then just save it in the size that you want to use it. Like if you know you want to use it at 500 pixels, then you can just save it at 500 pixel size. And then you still have the original Illustrator file. Like you can always go back and enlarge it and save it as a bigger size if you need to. All right, I'll do yeah shortly yeah so that's the only thing different since we're working with web instead of print you just have to think about what is web appropriate and web ready so once you save in all the different formats and you could save in different pixel sizes so that you'll have it all ready to upload to your website your web host server and you don't have to go back and resave them all Okay, sorry, my floor decided to that's be okay. loud. That's okay. That's understandable. Yeah. Uh, what's there? And then, so now we're going on to module four after the logo assignment. Yeah. Have you ha had a chance to look at that yet? I looked at it very briefly, but I just been having a hard time staying up. Okay. Because of my, because of the cold, and I have a bad knee right now, so. Okay. But I have it. But hopefully, I'll figure out what's wrong with it by Friday. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's kind of distracting me from my homework. Yeah, that that can be hard. Stay focused. Yeah. But I'm, yeah, you'll get there. Thank you. So, but you you've got all your assignments in on time. Yeah, I'm doing a good job. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So yeah, when you when you're ready, you can watch the introduction video for mm -hmm. module four, and I go over what you need to do in that module. It's two weeks, so you'll look over what's due week one, and then what's due week two, and you've got some time to work on that. And then spring break falls in there too. Okay. So yeah. I'm gonna take a break. Before spring break, you'll want to do this reading and this discussion forum and watch these videos mm -hmm. and do homework five. So you'll need your textbook for that. Yeah, I'll bring the files. Okay, yeah, and you know how to download those files and everything from Against the Clock. And then you'll work on week two and go through all the slides and videos for that and then do the quiz and the survey and new homework six. 
And I go over this in the video too, but these two videos for Beast Kinetic Bistro, and not, these are really long. I'm gonna try to break them up more so yeah. that they're shorter. But I combine stage one and two. I just haven't had a chance to redo those videos yet. Uh, but so it's getting kind of loud here too. But, but these are just to get practice for how to link web pages to one another. Yeah. To organize the site. You don't have to turn that in. So you'll just do those as a practice from your textbook. Then what you'll turn in is homework five and homework six. So homework five is a textbook portfolio builder exercise. And so you'll download the graphic files from Against the Clock for that. But homework six is off, is not from the textbook. So that you're just gonna build two web pages in Dreamweaver from scratch and then upload those to the server. So you wanna make sure that you get connected to the ASU web hosts for that assignment. Okay. I know this is gonna... They're, they're starting to cuss and I don't want your recording okay. to have it. I can't hear it at all. Um, but yeah, so if you don't have any other questions, I know this is a little bit, because you're still working on this, this module. So I'll let you take the time you need to go, go to module four when you're ready. But yeah, and then if you think of any other questions later, you can see me in office hours or on Friday. Uh, I saw that you're doing career impact on Wednesday. Yeah. Which section are you doing? I saw that. Because uh, I was, because I'll be attending to one of the events. Oh, good. I should have sent, did I not send an email in this class? I, I don't think I did. I meant to send an email about that to all of my classes, but I don't think I got around to, mm -hmm. to all of them. But yeah, so I am going to be, my Wednesday class for Document Design 1 will mm -hmm. be attending the 11 o'clock session, and they've kind of designed that session for my students at, um, in the McRae Peak room. It's Penland School of Crafts and Unity Digital Agency. I was going to go to that. I'm going to okay. that one. Oh, good. Yeah, so that one will be crafted for my students specifically, and that agency is the Graphics Communications Agency, and the creative director from that agency is a graduate from ASU. Ooh. Yeah, so that'll be really exciting. And we have a relationship with Penland School of Crafts, of Crafts with the art department already. So that will be interesting. And then there's a lot of other fun companies like Ben and Jerry's and National yeah. Geographic. So I'll be hanging out in that McRae Peak room at 10 o'clock on till 12. And then uh, the students will be there too. Yeah. All right, I was wondering what time, well, if you were taking part of it or you're just doing like a class. I'm just having my students participate mm -hmm. in it. I'm not gonna be speaking or really do anything. I'm just bring students. Yeah. 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 But I'm real excited to hear what they have to share. I think that's a great opportunity and a, a real learning opportunity. Okay. For all fields. Yeah. Whatever yeah. you'll want to do. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll let you go then. Mm -hmm. And I'll just hang out here in case anybody else joins late. Okay, I'll work on that logo. Okay, sounds good. All right. All right, take care. Bye. Bye.